Hello, this is the anti natalist We are the show that is freeing youth, one enslaved mind at a time. And here is the last part for the last part of LGBTQ youth struggles. For the parents out there, uh, you, uh, it's time for you to accept the fact that your kid's going to be gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender. For those of you parents claim natalists, claim that you accept the LGBTQ people, but you do not accept the fact that your kids are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, makes you a total hypocrite. You accept the LGBTQ plus people, but you don't accept your child for, for being part of it. Makes you the hypocrite, it makes you an asshole, makes you a dickhead. Uh, what, uh, when you accept other people uh, being LGBTQ but not your kids, what if the, someone else, uh, 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 what if someone else's parents does not accept them for being LGBTQ? It's just like you do not accept your kids being artist, artistic, bipolar, and you do not accept them that uh, they're born with physical or mental disability. Shame on the late lateralist. Uh, you uh, you are a hypocrite and a dickhead, total dickhead. You, you deal with it. You you took the gamble. You sign up for it by ha by having kids. And what would you expect? Don't act surprised that your kids going to be going to be born in any shape or form is is your child it's your responsibility nobody is going to take care it's not the government's job to take care of the problem it's your job with all uh, with all your fucking traditionalist toxic be beliefs if you come from a nation with a religious belief same applies to you whether you grew up in Sharia law, Confucian uh, society, the same the same thing will apply apply to you. Either you accept it, or if the kids disown you, which I totally don't blame your ki your kids. I don't blame them, but but I will blame the later list. Lately, it's you. you you take the blame. It's your responsibility for causing all the uh, all, all that problem. You uh, you had a uh, lateness out there. You you had a problem. Uh, you you are the one that uh, causing all the pro uh, problem. You uh, you are the one of the perpetrators that uh, you are responsible for the LGBTQ youth out there commit suicide, uh, suffer from mental Ill illness and deal with the bullying, not just the natalists, the governments too, uh, who, uh, or in places where, uh, where the crazy rulers are governed by especially uh, Sharia law, religion, uh, Christian fanatics or religious Cultists, traditionalist cultists out, out there, or Confucianist cultists uh, too. You, uh, it's your uh, you again. You you sign up for it. If your child become one, I uh, I beseech you that uh, you either accept it, or if you don't like it, they. Uh, 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 lose it, accept it or lose it. You got two choice. You got two choices. And they and later this, uh, you, uh, you you later this out there need to change your mind mindset. Enough is enough. We got too many LGBTQ homeless out there. We got uh, under transgender care is still behind. Same same applies to the. Uh, Politician, government, religious, cultists. 
you need to find way to improve the transgender care. Uh, you need to learn how to budget, learn how to budget stuff funding so much money, stop funding so much money on wars and funding so much money on suicide preventionist hotline. You preventionists are dick dickheads. I have a, a strong a high res I have total respect for people who grave in love to uh, ex exit find ways to accept. I have sympathy for people who com commit suicide and uh, high courage. I have high courage and respect to be honest for people who commit suicide and uh, find ways to accept. I have absolutely no sympathy for the preventionist or suicide hot hotlines. If the people who committed that I don't blame them, but at the same time, I don't encourage it, I don't condone it, don't get me wrong. But uh, if you, uh, it's just the same government with the native religious fanat fanatics that uh, make, uh, uh, that do not want uh, legalized grace for asset euthanasia legal, it's the same government that does not do anything to improve uh, or improve uh, lives and care for transgender, gay, lesbian, bisexual, non-binary, the LGBTQ plus. You got if you if you don't if you don't legalize. If you, if those politicians do not do it, deal with the con consequent deal with the consequences and live up to it. And same to you as nato uh, What uh, does what happens with, with the LGBTQ plus youth it does not find acceptance acceptance. There be more suicides. There be more mental illness. Youth gone home. Homelessness, uh, deal with, deal with the consequences. Suck it up. This, you literally sign up for it. So think, think twice before having kids. Think twice before even adopting one, because some of you, the adoptive parent can be a bad one. All right, that's it for this video. That's part four. Holy, sh I got a. Uh, all the way hell a lot to say my dad my dad claims that he accept a uh, gays and lesbian but he does not accept me being a lgbt community my parents are all, also uh, total hypocrite and dickhead they they it's just like they don't accept me being uh, artistic even though my uh, my mom is autistic. She have me for selfish, self, e e egoistic reason, uh, and I, I should say my parents does. Alright, I'll catch you guys and girls with another one.